In this video, we're going to take a look at a legal problem called Diagonals Traverse. So given a matrix M times N elements, M is number of rows and N is number of columns, return all elements of matrix in diagonal order as shown in the um, below image. So here you can see we have a 2D array and then we want to um, traverse the 2D array diagonally so that we're getting each and every single element um, inserted onto the one dimensional array. So here you can see we have 1, 2, and then 4, 7, 5, 3, and then 6, 8, 9. So a good question to ask in interview is what's the constraints for this question? Because it seems like it didn't really give us the constraints. So what if the, uh, the array is size of 0, right? So I think we, it's a good question to ask in interview. Um, so in this question, I'm just going to treat it as there could be a situation where the array has a length of 0. So to solve this problem, what we're going to do is we're going to do the following. For each index, we're basically going to get the um, get the sum, right? So in this case, the sum of this current index is the y, right? How many rows we have? In this case, the row index is 0, plus the column index is 0, is equal to 0. And we will check to see if this number is an even number or all number. Because what we realize is that if it's an even number, we know that this number, um, the direction that they're going to go next is up and right, right? If it's an even number, if it's an odd number like this one right here, right? So in this case, is one plus zero, right? It's going to be one. So we know that this is basically a odd number, right? Then we know that it's going to go down and left. Okay, if it's an odd number, we're going, they're going down left. But there could be a situation where they don't have any space to go up. Then what they do is they go down. If they don't have any space to go to up, but they can go. To they have the space to go to the right. They can go to the right. Okay, that's for even number. And for all number is this: if they don't have, if they don't have a space to go down and left, they will go down. Right? If if there is a space to go down. And if there is no space to go down, they will uh, they will basically go to the right. Okay, so now we know how to do this. Let's try to do this in code. So our first step is to do um, to make sure that the matrix is not empty, right? So in this case, matrix dot length. If it's equal to zero, then what we're going to do is we're going to return new integer array. And if we have a situation where matrix dot um, the row index, the column, in, um, the column length is equal to zero. We're also going to return a empty array, okay? Because there's because the array is pretty much empty. And then what we're going to do next is we're going to def define our rows and columns. So row is equal to matrix dot length, okay? Column is equal to matrix at zero dot length. Once we have our rows and columns, what we're going to do is we're going to define our starting point, and we're going to use y and x. So y is the num is the current row index, right? In this case, it's starting at zero. X is starting at zero as well. So now we have our starting point and the um, the um, the borders, right? Now we have the um, the length of the um, the rows and the column. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create our array because at the end we're going to return this array, right, integer array. So it's going to be array with the size of row times column. And um, what we're going to do at the end is we're going to return this array at the end. So what we're going to do is we're basically going to traverse and then for each iteration we're going to get the sum of the current um, indexes, right, the row plus the uh, the x plus the y, and check to see if it's even number. If it's even number, we're going to go top right, right? And then if it's an odd number, we're going to go um, bottom left, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to have an index, which starts at 0. So while index is less than array.length, then we're going to do is first we're going to insert the current element onto the array, right? So it's equal to matrix at y at x, okay? 
we first insert this element onto this array and then we increment the index by one. So then what we're going to do is we're going to define if the x and the y, if the index that we're currently having is a, basically we're trying to decide what, which direction we should go next. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a sum it is equal to y plus x. Then what we're going to see is we check to see if the sum, so is of even, right? So we're going to see if sum modulo of 2 is 0. If it is, then we know this is an even number. Then what we're going to do is we're going to check to see if it's an even number. What we're going to do is we're going to see if there is a space, if there is a space for us to go top and top right. So what we're going to do is this. If x is less than column, um, yeah, column minus 1. And y is uh, bigger than 0, okay? So if, if we have a space on the top left, right? So in this case, if x is less than the column minus 1, right? So, and also we have the space to go to the top, right? We want to make sure y is bigger than 0, not bigger than or equal to. Then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, basically increment x by 1 and decrement y by 1 because we are going to we're going up right if we're going up is y minus 1 if we're going down is y, mi y plus 1 so what we're going to do is there could also be a situation where we we don't have the space to go up like for example this one right here right where we don't have the space to go up then what do we do we, we basically go to the right so to check that we're going to say if x is less than column x is less than column minus 1 then we know that we don't have the space to go up, right? So if we still have the space to go to the right, what we can do is we can go to the right. If we don't have the space to go to the right, then what do we do? Like, for example, this one right here. We don't have the space to go up. We don't have the space to go right. Then what we should do is we should uh, basically go down, right? So in this case, to go down, all we have to do is we increment y by 1. So that's for even number, and for all number, it's going to be very, very similar. What we're going to do is we're basically going to um, see if there's a space to go bottom left, right? So if y is, um, so basically if, it, if y is still less than the row minus 1, and x is still uh, bigger than 0, right? Because we want to make sure that we have space to go to the bottom left. So if that's the case, then we're going to go, we're going to increase x by 1. Sorry, decrement x by 1 because going left. And then increment y by 1 because we're going down. Then what if we have a situation where we have what only y can go down, but there's no room to go to the left, right? Then we're just going down. So if y is still less than row minus 1, then what we can do is we can just go down. Otherwise, what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, move to the right by 1. Okay, so if we were to do that, and that's it. So at the end, we're just returning the array, right? So now let's try to run the code. And let's try to submit. And here you can see we have our success. So basically, this is how we solve uh, this diagonal order, diagonal traverse problem. And simply we're traversing the, uh, the array linear. Um, and then time complexity in this case is going to be big over n, where n is the number of elements. Um, I should say the correct answer will be big O of um, m times n, right? Because in this case, we have, we don't know we don't know what's n, we don't know what's, sorry, we don't know what's m, and we don't know what's n. So in this case, it's best best to say big O of m times n. And then the space complexity is also going to be big O of m times n, because here you can see we have created a ray that has the size of m times n. So there you have it, and thank you for watching.